are going, guys. Getting ready to go drop off Karkin. Say hi. Hi. Still asleep. And then I'm going to go look at a 2017 Hyundai Tucson. See if I can get out of my Elantra. But I like the vehicle. Nothing wrong with it at all. I'm just too big for it. I've had some knee pains in my left knee. And, you know, after I got the S10, it was a lot worse because of the clutch. But this is how I currently ride in here with my knees, like, <clears throat> way up here. And the other issue is I... I'm 6'6", and I wear size 14 shoes. So, when I have my boots on for work, unless my foot is exactly straight up and down, I hit the gas and the brake at the same time. And most people have their foot at an angle, and they just move it over. And that's how I drive. That's naturally how I drive. I have to keep like lifting my foot up and setting it back over, which is a major pain. And half time at signal lights, I'll forget to move my foot and I'll like let off the brake to hit the gas and I'll hit the brake again. <laughs> so we're gonna go look at this. I would like one, I only have 20,484 miles. And uh, the one I'm looking at is a 2017, so it's two years older than this, and it has 60,000 miles. But it's a limited all wheel drive, has the turbo, towing package, all that stuff, leather seats, heated seats. All around, it would be a I think a more comfortable ride, and that's what I'm going to go figure out this morning after I drop Carson off. I'm going to swing by there, see if I fit. And yeah. yeah. Looks like it might be a little late because traffic is at a standstill. Which sucks. Because this is the one morning I have somewhere to be for work. So. Yeah, this is normal. You can be going like 80 through here in the morning. No issues. But it's all backed up. So we'll figure that out. I'll let you know when we get there. I am um, looking at the Tucson. Is that the same place where I got this? At uh, Northtown Honda in Gladstone, Missouri. So hopefully they can work something out since I'm going back to them but you never know what happens and we'll see all right guys so it's the next morning I'm supposed to be heading to go get this Tucson but I did a whole bunch of research on this Tucson last night and it's no go <laughs> apparently I had a I had a 2012 Fiesta that had a stupid dual clutch and had so many issues. And this is the exact same way. Which I didn't know it was a dual clutch system on the Tucsons. And yeah, people are reporting like never ending transmission issues with these things. And with it not being under warranty, I would have to pay out of pocket every single time I wanted the transmission reflashed and all this stuff. They said the recall only covers like so many times or if it's so bad or something like that. So needless to say, I am not getting a Tucson. Um, also, it was the 1.6 liter turbo, which sounds good in theory, but they also have a ton of issues with extremely bad turbo lag and the engines themselves apparently aren't very good. A couple of people had replaced the engine on them before 100,000 miles. And if I don't have a warranty, I ain't paying for that. So, 
we're going to go look at another 2017, but it's a Santa Fe Sport. It's a little bit bigger, so I think it'll fit me a little bit better. And has remote start. Honestly, it doesn't look as cool as the Tucson, but it's more reliable. It also has 30, 31,000 miles, so I'm still covered under factory warranty for another 29,000 miles, which was me only driving five minutes to work and back every day, and then dropping Carson off, which is like maybe 10 miles, by about 10 miles, then, you know, I'm only putting 20 miles a day, which isn't very much, so that 29,000 miles should last me several years. And also, since I'm going to be towing a trailer, like I usually do, it's not anything heavy or anything like that. So, the Tucson was rated at 1,000 um, pounds towing, including the trailer, and this is rated at 2,000. So that kind of gives me a little bit more ease of mind, because I'm like, our trailer is probably like 500 pounds. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to carry anything that's 500 pounds on the trailer, but now I can carry, you know, 1,500 pounds on the trailer. So, so we're on our way to go do, go look at it, test drive it, see how it is. For some reason, my GoPro did not charge it last night, so we're rolling at like 15%. So I'm going to try to make these videos short. get there and we can go test drive it and see what we can do. So we have some bad news. I don't see that Santa Fe here on the lot. I see the other 17. I don't see the black one that I'm looking at. This might be a no-go on everything. <laughs> There's one pretty bad like crease in the bottom of the rear driver door back here and I want to see if they can kind of fix that because there's like spare metal showing. At least put paint on it or something to keep it protected but I don't know we'll see this is the exact same price as mine or the, the Tucson I was looking at but no buttons here that's higher trim package they move stuff down here one thing it is nice in my car I hit this to the driver's side and that's select shift which I've accidentally done a couple times driving because I'll go around the corner and I'll have my hand here and I'll accidentally hit it over this one they move it away from you which this is actually older than mine so honestly that was a better setup but we're going to take it back and see what they think of it. Hey guys, so we're in the Tucson right now. They are giving me for the weekend. I went ahead and purchased the Santa Fe. The extended warranty and all that fancy stuff. Uh, it was not, it's a pre-certified vehicle, but it was not ran through the shop yet. So I test drove before they even, before the shop even looked at it. So they're going to do all their stuff. There was like the plastic trim that goes around the seat. I don't know if you can see really well, like here, but on the passenger side, uh, it was completely broken. So they're going to fix that. Then the rear seat uh, behind the driver's side has like the seat belt that comes out. I guess it's technically the center seat seat belt. Where it comes out, there's a plastic little holder 
the you know it's a, a glide that the seatbelt glides on and it came out of the cushion it was like popped up and everything so they're fixing that and then there's a dent that they're pretty much keeping on the vehicle in the driver rear door uh, it's right at the corner so that it's it'd be extremely hard to get it out i'm more than likely going to try to get it out eventually but the paint is chipped off so i'm like if anything if you don't do the dent at least get paint on it because i don't want that to rust or get any moisture on it or anything so they're gonna do that and they should have it ready monday today's saturday so hopefully we should be in our new car before we know it kind of give you guys a tour of what it is and what features mine has it's a sport model which actually isn't technically a sport really <laughs> there's no sport features to it <laughs> so I don't know why they even call it that, but it is what it is. I'm happy with it. It drives way better than this Tucson. So, same exact price as this. This has a whole lot more features. <laughs> as far as, like, garage door openers up here. Uh, push button start here. I mean, well, a lot of things. So... They both have this rear um, axle lock. It's pretty much, it keeps it in all-wheel drive. That's all that is. Um, they both have that. Any of the all-wheel drive Hondas will have this. That pretty much means that they're in front-wheel drive all the time. Which is, it's, even though it's all-wheel drive, they're in front-wheel drive. And then if a wheel slips, then it kicks in all-wheel drive. This button, it just keeps it in all-wheel drive all the time. So, one thing that is very strange that I noticed a lot of the uh, Hondas are doing now. Use my flashlight here. The pedal is a floor-mounted pedal. It's not like, most cars are like this brake, where they come hanging down from the firewall. The gas pedal, like, it's mounted on the floor. You can see that very well. But it drives a lot different being like that, surprisingly. As soon as I hopped in this the first time I test drove it, I didn't even look at that. And I hit the gas for the first time and I like let off and I'm looking down there and the guy's like, what are you looking at? I'm like, this is a different kind of gas pedal. I said, oh, is it? I'm like, I can tell immediately when I started driving. He's like, yeah, I, I got the same way I can tell when it's doing that. But yeah, these have really bad transmission issues, so I am not buying this one. You got Carson asleep in the back. <laughs> but yeah. So we're going to end up getting our new car. Eventually. As soon as they fix everything, so I will see you guys then. All right guys, so yesterday I was at work, they gave me the Tucson to drive and they actually brought the Santa Fe to me and swapped them out. So now I own this 2017 Hyundai Santa Fe. And I really like it so far. It's a whole lot better fit for me than the Elantra because I can sit up a whole lot <laughs> easier. And I have a whole lot more room. It's like when I sit in here. That's so with like save my foot on the brake and everything. My legs are a whole lot more flat than in the Elantra. I would have been like this. Looks like my knees way up there. So yeah, I like it so far. Um, it's the sport model, but or sport trim. But it's just a base sport, so it doesn't have a lot of the fancy features. All I really care about, though, is it's all-wheel drive. <laughs> I need to get online and order a receiver hitch for this, though. They seem like they're pretty easy to put on. They already have the threaded holes in the frame rail. So it's literally just running some bolts up there. So be extremely easy to do.
I like it. I was just popped the hood. It did the only damage it really had. I had a really, really bad dent right here. Just the missing paint. And I was like, well, if anything, it just touch up the paint because I don't want it to start rusting or anything. So they put touch up paint and they actually got the dent majority of the way out. It was on the seam. And it's impossible to get to because this is all part of the door. When you open it, see that's all the door. So it the dent actually ran like halfway up the door, which I didn't even realize. They didn't realize it either until they got the lights on it and everything and were looking at it. But they did a decent job. It's a lot better than it was. But that's the only thing the vehicle had wrong with it. There's a couple like tiny scrapes here and there. But it has the fog lights and the LED daytime running lights. I was just looking at the headlights. I'm like wondering how hard it is to put my LEDs in here and look at this engine bay. This is so easy to work on. It's crazy. Alternators right there if I ever had to replace that. Headlights. I won't have to disassemble the entire car anymore, which is nice. This might be a little more difficult to get to for the actual headlight bulbs. But actually I ended up buying a warranty that covers everything which I had to do to get a pre keep it certified pretty much so the only thing they don't cover is like the belt tires and brake pads and wiper blades but they cover everything light bulbs oil changes I think you double check on oil changes it's not really a really big deal to me. I usually just do my own. It's a lot easier. Looks like there is one more thing wrong with it, which I can order. Which wiper cap is cracked. So I'll probably order one of those. It's kind of weird they didn't see that. Gigantic battery, which I don't think they replaced. I wish I did because that looks like a 200 plus dollar battery. But yeah, not too bad. Yeah, the, the low beam headlights are going to be kind of a pain. So I might still have to take the bumper cover off if I want to swap them. High beams are simple. They're right here. Turn signals are right here. They're simple. So, right now it has really good light output at night because I have fog lights also. And these projector beams do really good. So, I might just keep it for a while and kind of see how I like it. But that's pretty much it. So, there's like a little scrape here, which I actually have touch up paint from uh, Michaela's car. See, it has a tiny bit of rust in it. So, this Thursday, I'm going to go over to my parents. I'll grab some of that scratch remover and put it on there. It's for black vehicles, so it helps. But yeah, that's the new car. Now, this next week, I'm going to do all the paperwork on the S10, get it in my name. I'm off next week and we can get some of these projects at the house knocked out. I'm off all week so I'm gonna take care of that and I'll probably I need to list that for sale but I need to pick up a chair for my parents. I don't have a receiver hitch for this yet so I might wait on that but we are gonna try to get the shed. Dang I just think about that. I'll have Carson the whole week, so I was thinking I could finish the shed, but I need the truck for the shed, and I can't have Carson in there, or I could use this, but I don't have receiver hitch, so I'm still working out the kinks, but yeah, that's kind of the update for now, that's pretty much it, so thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video.